Hey, how's it going guys? It's Sam back here again with another video for you guys and today's video is going to be just a comparison of the boot times of the uh, three of the major hard drives on the market. Well, hard drives, solid state drives, and uh, hybrid hard drives. So uh, the first drive we have here is a traditional hard drive. So this is the Western Digital Scorpio Black. This is a 7200 RPM drive, so it should be among the fastest uh, hard drives, at least the 2.5 inch hard drives on the market. Uh, this one's a 250 gig edition, so that's that right there. This is going to be the representative from the uh, traditional hard drive. The next drive we have here is a relative newcomer to the market. It is the Seagate Momentus XT 750 gigabyte hybrid hard drive. So what this means is that inside this drive, we're also going to have another eight gigabytes of uh, SLC NAND. And um, basically what this NAND does is it acts as a cache uh, and it's and it's basically a solid state. So it's like an SSD inside this hard drive. And so you're going to get the full 750 gigs of hard drive along with the 8 gigabytes of NAND as a uh, cache. So what that should do is once it once this drive learns uh, your usage patterns, things like that, it will uh, increase the speed of tasks such as opening you know, certain documents or uh, opening certain applications or maybe booting up your computer, things like that. So this is supposed to be a great improvement and uh, we're gonna find out if it is later on the uh, boot comparison video. So the final drive we have here is the OCZ Vertex 3. It's also a 2.5 inch drive. This is the 120 gigabyte model. And so this uses uh, MLC uh, NAND flash. This is 120 gig, like I said. It uses uh, SATA 3, 6 gigabyte, uh, 3 gigabits per second. And uh, it's pretty much your run of the mill high end uh, SSD. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the three with uh, in booting. And I had a test set up for each of these drives, so let's find out how they do. Okay guys, so thanks for sticking around. For the purposes of this test, what I done was clone the test bench drive, the uh, Patriot Pyro SE 120GB onto each of these drives. And this way I can ensure that each drive will have an equal amount of data and more importantly, the same data. Then I did my best to obviously right there, as you saw, push the timer and the system power button at the same time. So, um, for the SSD and the traditional hard drive, I put the video of the third boot in. And uh, for the hybrid hard drive, I put the video of the first and third boot in there. So you can see them clearly labeled. And as you will see, once the hybrid hard drive's cache remembers the boot sequence, it actually boots much faster. So uh, anyway, as you can see, the SSD is still the king booting in 30 seconds with the hybrid hard drive. Uh, booting in 58.3 seconds on the top right, so it will be booting soon enough. However, as you can see on the bottom left, on the third run, the hybrid hard drive was actually able to boot in a respectable 45.5 seconds, which is a little more than 20% faster than the first run from the cold boot on the top right. So finally, we are still waiting for the traditional hard drive to boot and it doesn't do so well coming in at a minute and 14 seconds, so it should be coming up right about now, and this was actually expected. So that's it for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help me out a lot. I'd like to thank both Seagate and OCZ for sponsoring this video, and I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.